Bonjour! Welcome to Casablanca! This is Brian Cox. Welcome to the One Man Show. While Casablanca is the largest city and economic center of Morocco, it is supposedly one of the least popular among tourists. But don't let this stop you from spending a couple of days soaking in the sights, sounds, and smells of this truly unique city. As this was my first trip to Africa, I didn't exactly know what to expect, but was thoroughly surprised with the cosmopolitan feel of Casablanca. Its infrastructure was impressive and of equal caliber to many major cities in Europe. At times, I felt that I was seeing most of the city's four million inhabitants before my very eyes. Thick traffic, honking horns, and sounds of Arabic and French littered the city in the daylight hours. It was especially unnerving how pedestrians walked through traffic with no regard to whether a car was coming. It took me a little while to get used to. Generally, I would try to closely follow someone else. Transportation systems in Casablanca seem pretty good. However, I speak very little French and zero Arabic, so I pretty much walked everywhere, never attempting getting on a bus or in a taxi both of which are supposed to be cheap, reliable forms of transportation. In fact, the language barrier would prevent me from a lot of things. I ate almost the same things over and over again because I was pleased enough with them. I had virtually no conversations with anyone but myself for an entire week. Lonely at times, but also highly rewarding at times where all of my attention went to observing my surroundings which was richly exotic, but also strangely similar in ways indescribable. Several times a day, I would hear the same sound played throughout the city, seeming to last well over a minute. In those days, I would quickly discover that this was a prayer time, as most people would stop what they were doing and recoil to privacy. Because of this, I felt it was inappropriate to film. People watching became the best part of my trip. They seemed to place a high level of importance on friends and family. This could be noticeable in how they would greet each other and spend time together. Men were very close with one another. Many times I would see guys holding each other as they walked, showing more affection than what is common in Western cultures. My six day trip to Casablanca came about as a requirement for me to get a new visa so that I could continue living in Barcelona. A trip I originally dreaded having to take, but ultimately, I came back with a fresh feeling on humanity and the cultural differences among them.